we present WebAnywhere, a self-voicing, web-browsing web application that quickly makes any computer accessible to screen reader users without requiring new software to be installed. Fulfilling the promise of a web-enabled global community means enabling blind web users to access their information and collaborative web services wherever they happen to be on whatever computer to which they happen to have access. Whether blind web users simply want to check their email at an internet cafe, look up the next conference deadline from their university library, collaboratively edit a document from a public kiosk at the airport, or use a sighted friend's laptop without worrying about what operating system it's running, taking full advantage of the global web means connecting anywhere. Unfortunately, screen readers are not available on the vast majority of public computers, and many portable alternatives are expensive or are incapable of running on any computer available because they require the user to install new software. WebAnywhere is a screen reading web application that addresses these problems with its unique set of features. WebAnywhere requires no new software to be installed, and therefore requires no special permissions on the client computer. WebAnywhere works with any web-enabled device with the ability to play audio, including most computers and many mobile devices that support web access. Finally, WebAnywhere is quick to start. Only 100 kilobytes of data need to be downloaded before using the system. To illustrate how WebAnywhere can be used, we present the following video of a blind web user using the system in our own university library. The user enters the library, puts away his cane, and sits down at one of the available computers. The computer does not already have a screen reader installed. The user removes a pair of headphones from his pocket and relatively easily finds the headphone jack on the computer on the desk. The user knows that most computers in the library run the Windows operating system, so he presses Windows key plus R on the keyboard to open a run dialog. He then enters the WebAnywhere URL. He does all of this without audio feedback. If he had any problem completing these steps, he could have asked a librarian for assistance in reaching the WebAnywhere homepage, after which he could have continued to browse completely independently. Within seconds of typing the URL, the WebAnywhere homepage loads, and the user hears the following. Page has loaded. The system is initialized and is ready to use. The user then presses Web a anywhere. shortcut key to Search bring him to the location bar where he can type a location new URL w to visit. W w In this case, he's going to check his email at gmail.com. Page has loaded. Gmail, email from Google. The user Zero uses a shortcut key to jump to the first input email. box on the page and F enters his username and password. Password, star, star, star. Submit button, sign in. Page has loaded. The user email looks for an email from a collaborator so on an upcoming project. Head and one, link image, head and two, account, head and two, inbox, select, submit, link, checkbox, T and checked. Jeffrey Vigam, link contact information, page has loaded, Gmail contact information, seven head and 35 link, head and one, link image, head and two, account option, head and two, folders, head and three. Jeffrey Bigham, Bigham at cs.washington.edu, moan March 3rd, 2008, to screenreader at gmail.com. Link reply, link link link, link, link show original. Hi, my phone number is 206-424-2322 in case you need to reach me. Jeffrey Bigham, Bigham, submit button, more reply. Text area body the user next types his reply, which the system echoes back to him as he types. After reviewing the message that he typed, he sends it. Text area body. I'm headed over to work on our submission to the W4A challenge. See you in a little while. For the remainder of this example, we will take a closer look at the Web Anywhere interface that is presented to users. WebAnywhere exists as a web page divided into two frames. The first is the browser frame, which replicates browser functionality and provides a screen reading interface to both web content and browser functions. The second is the content frame, which loads web content to be read via a web proxy server. WebAnywhere does not seek to improve on the existing screen reader interface, but rather to replicate it in the constrained setting of a web application where it can be run from almost any web-enabled device. To continue our example, the user next uses Google to double check when his W4A submission is due. Page has loaded. W4A space bar. A C E F I 
ITY space bar E submit button Google search. On both Google it and the conference homepage, the user skips AX through by heading to efficiently channel. find the Google information search. that he wants. Ten headings, eighty-six links. W heading two. Link with aim heading two. Link international heading two. Link international cross disciplinary conference W four A two thousand and eight conference web. Page has loaded. International cross disciplinary conference on web accessibility W four A web access. Heading 3, Submission Materials, Heading 3, Conference Attendant, Heading 3, Deadlines, Submission Deadline is March 3rd, 2008 Midnight Hawaii Standard Time. Heading Having been reminded of his upcoming deadline, the user is ready to leave the library and checks mybus.org for the status of the bus he'll take to his next destination. Zero headings, 34 links. It's research, text area route. 6, 5, page has loaded, mibus.org. Metro Route 65 Mibus dot link image link here link image Mibus low link 15 av link 12 avenue and knee campus we double link 15 avenue and knee campus we page has loaded Mibus real time bus data for 15 avenue and knee campus we King County wa three headings six links Mip link image it's low link image submit bus submit button link route link de link scheduled Depart status. 25. The user uses the table navigation command to quickly find his bus 49, in the table. 49, 65. North Seattle, 320 p.m. 5 Mindalay. In conclusion, WebAnywhere is a self-voicing, web-browsing web application that makes almost any computer accessible to blind web users. Enabling a global web not only means making web content accessible to everyone on their own computers, but also on any computer that they happen to have access to. In our example, a blind web user was able to access his email, verify an upcoming deadline, and find a bus to take home, both quickly and easily from a computer that did not have a traditional screen reader installed on it. Importantly, he could have done this on any computer, regardless of whether it was running a Windows, Linux, or Macintosh operating system, regardless of what web browser was installed, and regardless of whether or not he had permission to install new software. This work has been supported by the National Science Foundation and a Boeing professorship. We thank TV Raman, Lindsay Yazzolino, and our user study participants for their feedback. WebAnywhere will be released to a wider audience in May 2008.